guys, I'm I'm Black Kitten and she's Entertainment Lord and we're here with another video. Nice one. <laughs> <laughs> you can forget what he said. He's Entertainment Lord. I'm Black Kitten, as you can tell by my glorious face. <laughs> um, so we just watched the fourth episode of Legend of Korra and summary time. Do, 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 okay. do, 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 do. So basically. Korra was convinced into joining a squad to fight the rebellion, and she challenged Amon stupidly. Amon at this island. Um, basically nothing happened at that island. She met Amon again, and they. They didn't really fight or anything. He just kind of had his squad. And compare that to the like, last time he took someone's bending, he destroyed. Get her under control. And then he just kind of said, hey, I'm going to fight you in the future. I'm going to so leave you alive. I, I'm going to keep you alive now because you're going to be important in the future to my master plan. And then just left. Well played, I'm on. Well played. But um, I really like this episode because it really delved into the characterization of Korra about how she can't always be strong and that exactly, she's afraid of things yes, as well. Exactly, because one complaint that you have up until that is Korra's too fearless. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and so it really like makes her seem more human by being afraid of things and can and like that episode really appeals to parents who want their children to learn good things because it teaches kids now that it's vegetables. okay to be afraid and that they don't have to be strong all the time. Like yeah. it's customary for the very masculine male gender to be, oh, I need to be strong 100% of the time. I can never cry. This is my bicep. Oh, wait, I don't have one. Yeah. Okay. And so yeah. it makes you think, oh, yeah, it's okay to be afraid. Which I really like. Um, the animation in that was great. The writing was amazing. And um, who was your favorite character at that time? Favorite character in that episode? Well, the little adorable one was not there. Did you miss him? I miss him. <laughs> He's the only one who shares your love for cat ears. I know, yeah. No, he, um, After I all, Naga has dog ears. I don't, I don't think I had a favorite character in that episode, but... I found it really shady. Asami. Asami. Yes, Asami is a very shady character in her yeah. opinion. Because she appeared out of nowhere and happened to hit what's his name with her bike. Mako, Mako, Mako. Mako with hit, with her bike. Mako, Mako, Mako. And was like, oh, I'm sorry. That's I'll, I'll take you out on a date. Like, yeah. She probably had an intention. Like, hmm, I know this. I know who this guy is. I'm gonna try to set him up. And do uh, so clever, Sami. No, yeah. Not, not what you're thinking. No, no, I didn't mean that. Um. Oh, I don't get it. But um. So I think she's shady. Like, what do you think? Um, I I've seen the series, so I don't yeah. want to give opinions on things like that. Okay. So. But other than that, like it was a very good episode. Um. Um, you get to see Amon again, and he, pr yeah. also, Tarlock proves to be a very manipulative person. Yes, like, I found it strange how he's, like, how he went about it exactly, like, uh, it was a good plan, but considering it's a grown-up, like, he could have come up with something better. See, what's funny, though, too, is you, you think of Bolan, and he's like, oh, who's Tarlock? Because uh, Bolan has a crush on Korra. Mm -hmm. Korra has a crush on Mako. Mako has a crush on Asami. And then Asami's like, eh. So how, that's like a love five-sided shape, whatever that's called. Yeah. <laughs> Go geometry, I should have paid attention. Pentagon. Pentagon, there we go. Love Pentagon. Um, so yeah, that episode was pretty good though. What do you like better, yeah. episode three or episode four? Um, 
I got to say number three because number four wasn't feeling all that great. Uh, In general, number three was right. a lot better. We have to go. Bye. Shazakin and I'm Ellen and her